Hello, this is As the World Burns, April 10th, 2021, Political Market and Forecast Reports. According to Metaculus, there is a 50% chance that the GOP will control the Senate after the 2022 elections. In a similar forecast, uh, there's a 51% chance that Donald Trump will run for president in 2024. And a 20% chance that he will become the Republican nominee, according to Metaculus. And a 6% chance that he will be elected president in 2024. Now, Mike Pence has a, according to Metaculus, has a 49% chance of running for president. In 2024. And a 5% chance of. Becoming president. If he, uh, 5% chance of becoming president. Now, in another Metaculous projection, there's a 45% chance that Kamala Harris will run for president. In 2024. Now, there's a market on predictit.com or excuse me, predictit.org, and it places the following probabilities on various candidates. 22% for Donald Trump, 22% for Governor Ron DeSantis of Florida, 11% for Nikki Haley, 8% for Mike Pence, and 8% for Christy No. Now, the overall probability that it places on Democrats winning in 2024 is 54%. There is a, there is also a balance of power market where they place a 33% chance of a clean GOP sweep where the GOP controls both houses of Congress, a 30% chance of a Democratic clean sweep, and a 30% chance of a Republican House Democratic Senate and a 13% chance of a Democratic House Republican Senate. Now, I notice that those odds do not add up to 100%. That is a little problem with predicted. And we can have a whole discussion on that one, okay? The, there is a market on predicted.org on who will become elected mayor of New York City in 2021. They are placing 61% odds that it's Andrew Yang. He's the front runner. Now he has by far the greatest name recognition. But those are the political markets on April 10th, 2021. Uh, not a comment on me taking a side either way, but those are the probabilities that the best indicators that I have at this point are. I don't think polls are very accurate at this point, and I'll do some more, some more discussion on that later. 
This is Randall Burns signing off from As the World Burns. Thank you for joining us. Please like this video. Feel free to make comments up for, uh, on it. Comments are welcome, especially comments on future episodes you'd like to see. Signing out. Thank you for joining me.